the jump start on Jeremy White, and White saw it, threw him out. Now he is in complete control. Jeremy White trying to win back that title against his former partner in the Kansas City Killers, Mark Sterling. This backslide cover, Dave. Go for the Mark Shooter Green. No! Mark Shooter submission, Dave. It's just a singles match right now, so obviously submission and pinfall will determine the winner for this one. Wow, here in the opening stages of the match, he's locked in one of Mark Sterling's finishing moves against oh, him. Yes, yes, thank goodness. Oh, oh yeah, great move by Wyatt Chris. Look at this, though. Rolls out of it, thank goodness. The momentum keeping him going, but look at this. Nightmare's chops. Fast and furious chops. Oh, but Sterling with a takedown. Takedown, and now wrenching back. Oh, submission move here, Chris. The ankle lock on that broken left leg. Yeah, hold on to it to a five count. Yes, yeah, snap that thing. Here we go. Irish. Oh, he's supposed to be trying to go for a lightning spiral, but no, roll through an ankle lock by Mark Sterling. Wyatt tried desperately to reach the ropes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what a reversal. Flipped him into it, hits that top turnbuckle, and Wyatt now in control. What's this? <laughs> what a move by the former champ. Could be the current on, champ. No. Oh. oh, my goodness. Keep going after it. Crack lock on it. Here we go. Into the corner. Head into the corner, Dave. We've seen this before. Watch. This is a new, oh, oh, chin breaker out of the corner, Dave, and all the momentum off that top turnbuckle. Two and, oh, 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 come on. Oh, my goodness, fall away slam from the top turnbuckle. Can you, can you believe that, Dave? Like a, like a sack of garbage he threw him. No, look at this pinning combination. Oh, thank goodness he rolled out that. Any cross face, yes. cross face, no. Do not submit. Dude, Sterling, this is the biggest night of your life. You do not do this right now. Oh, he's nowhere near the ropes, Chris. Come on. Come on, no. He, yeah, his hands are David's David, his feet. Reach the ropes with your feet, buddy. Jeremy White's going to go 1-0 with a cross face on Mark Sterling. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, Chris. Come on. No, get to the ropes. Come on. Yes. Well, that yes. Even, yeah, what a cowardly way to get to the rope. Cowardly. Yeah, absolutely. He had to go that way, Dave. Here we go, Mark Shooter time. And it, it's over if he gets this, Dave. Here we go. Come on, flip him over. If he can just get him, yes. Yes, cinch it in. Cinch it in with that, that, that left leg that is already heavily injured. And the Mark Shooter is lit in, Dave. Come on. Got him, Chris, but Wyatt. Slowly dragging his way towards that bottom row. Yes, no. come on, yes. Pulling him back in the middle of the ring. Yes. No. Yes, he tapped out, Dave. Mark Sterling is now 1-0 in the best of three series, making him tap after the Mark Duder. Never thought I'd see the day where Jeremy Wyatt would submit, but we just saw it here tonight at Turner Rec Center. Mark Sterling is still the Metro Pro Champion right now as he looks up at that belt hanging high. If we do have a ladder match, it will be next week on Metro Pro Wrestling. Look at this white tell the fans to get out of the way, Dave. What's he going to do here? Hopefully he'll break his neck on the steel chair. Oh. Oh. On that apron, take a look. Oh. oh. Look at that, just driving him through those four, four aisles of chairs, Dave. Motivated to keep his title. Look again, oh. Chris. Oh. <laughs> We should mention there's a, a padded, but a padded brick wall right behind all those chairs. Yes, that is a brick wall with about an inch of padding around it, Dave. Oh, no! Oh. Did you hear that thud? About three reverses oh. later. Big spear on the floor by Sterling on a Wyatt. The fans' approval for some reason. Look, here it is. Oh, oh no! Oh. How's that flying metal chair taste, Wyatt? Here we go, Irish whip. Oh! oh. Wyatt says it's over. Lightning spiral. Oh, he hits it. That's his finishing move, Dave. Not going to end well for someone. Oh, and it's Wyatt. How does that chair leg not just drive through the sternum of Jeremy Wyatt with that drop? Macho Man elbow. He hit it, Chris. This is over. Leg is hooked. No. Yes. No. Yes. Get him, Wyatt. No. Oh, oh right to that arm, Chris. It's got to be broken. He's been nursing that arm the entire match. And now he just used a metal chair on it. And now he's trying to break that arm right now. I mean, yeah. this is, this is, strong you just tap three, go on to match three at this point. Break it. Don't break your arm, buddy. You don't want to lose that title. Now to the cross face, Dave. Yes. No. And it doesn't matter if Sterling can reach the ropes, no. Chris. It doesn't matter. Come on. The cross face. No. Yes. 
Lions won it. He stays alive in this best out of three series for the Metro Pro title. This is what a battle. And I got through here with the Rebel, Jeremy White. It's all tied up one-to-one. -one. We are one week away from arguably the biggest match of your illustrious career as you go head-to-head -head with your former best friend, Mark Sterling, the Metro Pro heavyweight champion in a ladder match. April 21st, that's the day I broke my leg. May 5th was the day I was stripped of the Metro Pro title. Here we are. It's been a long, long seven months but I'm finally getting what I want. Mark Sterling with the belt hanging high. Just you and me, my friend. The best man's going to win, and you're looking at him. There you have it, wrestling fans. Coming up next week, the biggest championship match in the history of Metro Pro Wrestling. The belt high, held high above a ladder. Jeremy Wyatt challenging the world's fittest wrestler, Mark Sterling. Hello, this is Mick Foley of the WWE, and you are watching Metro Sports. Yeah! Join Metro Pro Wrestling 24-7 on social media. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash metroprokc. On Twitter, you can follow us at KC Metro Pro. Our YouTube page is located at youtube.com slash KC Metro Pro. And finally, our company website with all of our live event dates over at metrowrestling.com. Good evening and welcome once again to Metro Pro Wrestling here on Metro Sports. I'm Dave Borchard alongside Chris Goff. And Chris, a historic night tonight, truly one of the biggest matches in the history of Metro Pro Wrestling, the third match in the best of three series for the Metro Pro title, the first ladder match in Metro Pro Wrestling history. And there you see it, Jeremy Wyatt trying to win that title back. He'll take on the champion, Mark Sterling. The only double champion ever in Metro Pro Wrestling history. Coming out here, look at him, Dave. He's already frail. He's gone through a singles match that he lost to Mark Sterling in that Mark shooter. He wins match two, which is that no disqualification match via the cross face. And now as he stares up, he peers up at that, that Metro Pro Heavyweight Championship hanging from the rafters here at Turner Rec Center. And we'll see who the first one will be to climb that ladder, Dave. It's an eight-foot metal fiberglass ladder that you crawl up there and try to take that off. First one that unhooks it from there wins. And they're the new Metro Pro champ. I'm going to take some offense to what you just said, Chris. What's that? Jeremy White certainly has been beaten up the last couple of matches, but how do you think Mark Sterling's going to look when he hobbles his way out to the ringside? He's taking a pounding, too. Dave, I'm sorry. I didn't know Mark Sterling had broken his leg. Oh, and this guy. Raiders fans, a Wyatt fan now. He Wyatt wins or Wyatt? Wyatt. Wyatt. He's yes. definitely going to lose now. The the great side. This collection of morons that he's put together in the front row to hold those stupid signs up. By the way, who wrote those? Can you imagine? Looks, looks like a five-year-old printed them. Can you imagine what fierce a riot we'd have if Retro Rick and Toothless Guy were rioting? I mean, it would be insane, Chris. Let's look at some of these morons that are on Wyatt's side. Here comes the, the champion, the true champion, Dave, the longest reigning Metro Pro champion in history, Mark Sterling. How's that shoulder, Chris? Okay, it's a little banged up. Can he walk down the stairs like he's not a nine-year-old man? It looked like he might have broken it, if you recall, in the last match. So, yeah, Wyatt may have a bit of a gimpy leg, but Sterling's coming in with just one working arm, Chris. Wyatt did have a broken leg. That's the point, Dave. Okay, he's still working Sterling on a broken leg. Oh shoulder. No, no. Have you seen this guy's shoulders? He does more, he does more shoulder work than most of these guys in the, the professional bodybuilding leagues, Dave. He's a CrossFit champion. Staring up at his title, he hopes to retain it, but this one match will determine everything here in the first ladder match in Metro Pro Wrestling history. And Chris, we think these guys are begged up coming into this match. We don't even want to see what they're going to look like at the end. Don Diablo is just scared. He's looking up there. 
I, I think he might have done something to his pants. I don't think he understands what's going on here tonight. He's always scared. He may be so scared he may mess up the announcement, Chris. Why are these crowd, why are these people chanting for Jeremy Wyatt? Don't they have any respect for the longest reigning champion in Metro Pro history? Uh, pretty sure they don't. Well, they may have some respect, but they certainly don't like him. I mean, every chance he gets, Mark Sterling screams that he hates everyone's guts. Dave, look at that. I'd say what? Probably 18, 22 foot high off the ring here inside Turner Rec Center is that Metro Pro Championship. We've seen it been hanging over the last few weeks at Metro Pro Wrestling Television. And now it comes to this. I didn't know if it was going to, Dave. I thought Mark Sterling could take that no DQ match and go 2-0, but no, it's 1-1, and it all comes down to this. And look, have we ever seen this before? One of them not running and rushing towards the other one? How calculated are they trying to make this match right now? Either calculated or both pretty beat up or maybe a combination of the two, but you're right. Both guys staring at that prize that's hanging above, and it is a slower start than we've seen ever before between these two. These two longtime friends, longtime allies turned enemies, and here we go. First shots back and forth, forearm shots by both men. Haymakers in the center of the ring. Who can get momentum first? And Dave, there's no way to win this match. There's no finish to this match until you go up and take that belt off. I mean, it's the equivalent of a no disqualification, no rules, hardcore, whatever you want. I mean, now look at that double cross body. They collide in the middle of the ring. For once, you make a good point, Chris. I mean, Mark Sterling could get Wyatt locked in the Mark Shooter, but, but unless he passes out, Sterling may not have enough time to assemble the ladder and climb all the way up, so a finishing move may not be enough. Sure, you're right, and there's no submission in this as well. And here we go. Here, and I've heard there's multiple ladders here in Turner Rex, and there, there's the second one, Dave. We have Mark Sterling with that eight-footer there, and Jimmy Wyatt the six-footer on the other side. We have two ladders to start this thing off. As the kids like to say, Chris, this stuff's about to get real. Is that what the kids say? Well, it may be a similar saying, yes. You're like 52 years old. How do you know what kids say? Look at this. Wyatt now taking control after Sterling had him down. But look at this. No disqualification. It's Sterling raking the eyes here. That's right. Look at Dre and that broken leg just draped over that middle rope, Dave. He should just snap it in half. Just going to work on it. That's gonna be a, that has been a weakness for Jeremy White ever since he came back from that broken left leg. Can't really deny that, Chris, and now Mark Sterling. No, Sterling's. you can't, it's a fact. Although Jeremy White's looked great since he's come back, so I don't wanna hear Here your we excuses. Go. It's like an old time, <laughs> it's like the Knights with the, the Lance, Dave, just right to his gut. I think a running ladder probably wouldn't feel much better, Chris, than a sword to the gullet. The gullet? Yeah, it's a medieval term. You've been going to medieval times lately yeah, or something? I watch Game of Thrones. Oh, I Another see. Another fine cable network, I HBO, see. yes. I see. They have nothing on these two. Here we go once again. Oh! oh. Did you see that right to his shin, Chris? And then the other ladder hit him in the face. Mark Sterling is in trouble now. What a big shot there. The first huge move of the night is he, he gets that ladder thrown into his leg. He topples over, and now Jeremy White makes it up. Wyatt maybe going to have a chance here to make a grab at that belt, but... Not moving very quick to try to get the ladder assembled. He may have other thoughts. These guys, I, that no disqualification match last week was an amazing match between these two. I know after that when they were both hurting oh. bad. And Jeremy Wyatt trying to throw that ladder on top of Sterling. Bounce off the, bounce off the rope, and now we got him that time running that left arm. It was an amazing match, and I always like it when the better man wins, Chris. That was certainly the case last week. Yeah, well, you're so biased, Dave. What? You know what? Mark Sterling wanted to be friends. How many times do we have to go down this road? Jeremy Wyatt likes a belt more than friendship. Is that how you run? I know that's why you have no friends. Well, you tell stories like a politician, Chris. I mean, say he wanted to be friends, and then he tried Me? to spear him. He stabbed him in the back. I'm anything but political, Dave. Oh, oh, look at that move by Sterling. Yes, just racking him on top there on that top turnbuckle. I don't know if it hurt him or not. Can't tell. Jeremy White's a big, Chris. I'm pretty sure that hurt him. It might not hurt you, but it hurt Wyatt. The tree of woe, Dave. He should continue to break that ankle, yeah. Oh, look at that, just wrenching on that previously broken leg. He's not going to be able to walk up that ladder, Dave, with that, if he re-breaks that left leg. Hopefully it happens, that'd be funny. What's he going for now, Chris? Here we go, oh, and here we go, another metal chair. We saw metal chairs galore in the last match, in that no disqualification match no. that Jeremy Wyatt won, and here, here we go, choking him out in the tree of woe. Terrible, what's Sterling got in mind here, Chris? Putting that 
chair in the face of Jeremy White. What, he's going to impale him now? No, no. <laughs> right to the face of Jeremy Wyatt. Grazing the chair, hitting Wyatt, and then going out and probably taking out a couple fans. Hopefully, if, it, if, it, if anything, you can take out a couple of these morons and that help us all. Shut up, Chris. What do you have against these hardworking blue-collar fans here at Turner Rec Center? Oh, my goodness. When are you going to get a new line, Dave? These people are animals. You see the bathroom up there? It's horrible. These people don't know how to live in civilized society. Oh, actually, I thought after the show, I heard they were having a casting call for America's Next Top Model, Chris. Really? Are you cops? What are you talking about? Well, one or the other. Yeah, same thing. They're both on Fox, right? Yeah. Exactly. Long, longest see? running, longest running program, Dave. Cops. That's amazing. That was that was on when you were in college. So that's amazing. And look at Jeremy White is draped on that apron over there. Sterling, what's he going to do with this fiberglass ladder? I mean, nothing's going to break these ladders, Dave. They're just going to break the people that they get thrown upon. But you said that if Medea tried to climb the ladder, it might collapse. Chris. Well, it does have a 375-pound limit, Dave, so not really sure if that would work for her. You're right. Sterling going for the suplex, but Wyatt catches him on the top rope. So we have two ladders, one for each foot. Look at this. Oh! oh! Russian leg sweep on that ladder. Look at Sterling just paralyzed there in pain. That's horrible. Wyatt's down too, though, Chris, even though he just dished out a huge punishing maneuver. And Mark Sterling getting checked on by the referee. I mean, if they can't continue it, Jeremy White just needs to put the ladder up and walk up and get it. But that's not Mark Sterling. That's not the Mark Sterling that I have known and loved for years. He wouldn't do that. Did you just say you love Mark Sterling? Yes, yes, Dave. It's a, it's a figurative no, term, it's Dave. a fascinating revelation in your personality, Chris. I have love. What are you talking about? No, I mean, it's, it's all good. Jeremy it's all good now. I don't judge. Shut up. Jeremy White climbing the ladder. If Come he on. can get that title and Sterling coming too now. This would be a great ending to the match. Get Come it, Jeremy. On. Throw him off and break his leg. Oh. Yes. yes. Thank goodness, stopping. Look at that power bomb, Dave. Oh, look at that Hurricane Rana off the ladder to the floor. I thought he was going to do a power bomb on White, but no, goes Hurricane Rana. What an incredible reversal! And now White has a chance, Chris. Does he have enough left in the tank to scale that ladder? No, he's going for more punishment. And this, this is just dumb. I mean, White should be climbing that ladder right now to get that title. Instead, he wants to come out and inflict more pain on a guy that just wants to be friends. He doesn't want to be friends, you moron. Yeah, well, what are you going to get the point? I mean, he attacked Jeremy Wyatt. And you act like you blame Jeremy Wyatt for wanting to win the most prestigious title in wrestling in the Midwest, Chris. You act like there's a problem with that. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know if you want to put a belt in front of your friendship when you have, like, maybe the, the greatest the greatest team ever assembled here in the Midwest, the Kansas City Killers, as he just nails Sterling with that ladder. Dude, you put a McDonald's Happy Meal in front of your friends. What are you talking about? You just call me dude. This is a professional broadcast. Oh, yeah, clearly. You're a real professional. What is, I believe, who is he, Tony Pena, 2004? We know how that worked out. Man, can they even spell believe? It's I before E, morons. <laughs> Jeremy Wyatt having some fun with the fans here at Turner Rec Center. That's a phrase I never thought I'd say, Chris. Well, if you want to have some fun with these, this crowd, just get a couple blocks and see if they can stack them. These guys are morons. What? Why do you always insult these great fans, you jerk? Because I, I can, Dave. I'm up here. I don't have to sit by Medea, a Raiders fan, a Retro Rick, or any of these other idiots around here. Don't forget Dancing Santa, Chris. Dancing Santa, yes, with the cane. And look at this, Dave. Reversal by Sterling. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Oh my goodness. The roll through on the ladder. I thought he was going to do it with the disaster piece, but no, he doesn't. A, a roll through on the ladder on Wyatt's back, and Wyatt is hurt. Oh, that could end somebody's career a move like that. It's an amazing day. A couple big moves we've already seen. I mean, these are, these are moves that would take out any other normal man. Proud. Lee cheering on Jeremy Wyatt to get to his feet, but also showing some appreciation from what they've seen from both these guys so far, I'd say. Sterling first back up almost to his feet now. He's, looks like he's going to try to scale the ladder. Sterling needs to move that ladder just a little bit to get under that, that belt as he peers up there. Wyatt now coming too, climbing the ropes in the corner, and Sterling Davies really nursing that left arm now. Oh, big drop kick by Wyatt sends Sterling down to the mat. 
Dave, I can only say getting drop kicked against a big metal ladder has to be painful. I've never done it in my personal life, Dave, but it, it looks just so painful on the leg there. Can't imagine it would feel good, Chris. That's a dynamite drop in, Monty. Yeah, as was your original analysis. Jeremy Wyatt climbing. Now he's going for the ladder, Dave. Who is going to take this? This is obviously one of the most brutal matches we've ever had here at Metro Pro Wrestling. Like, what's Wyatt doing? He may not be going for the bell. What's he doing here? Well, this guy, I told you, Dave, I tell everybody about Wyatt. He is a sadist. He doesn't know when to stop. You know, he could he could have just sprinted up that ladder and gotten that title belt, but no, he wants to continue to inflict pain on his former friend. And here we go, as that ladder sits in the corner now. Well, after that death roll Mark Sterling gave him a few minutes ago, can you blame him for wanting some vengeance, Chris? I like that death roll. What it looked like, one of those big crocodiles finishing off their prey. If only it would have worked on Wyatt, it would have been great. Did not, now Jeremy Wyatt in control, trying to reclaim that title he held for so long. Here we go, oh, reversal by Sterling again, Dave. What's he gonna do? Banging his head into that top turnbuckle, Dave. But I think he's gotta be targeting one of these ladders. Oh, oh face first. Escaping, oh. and look at that spear on the ladder. Huge move by Wyatt, oh. and Sterling's gotta be out of it now. And Wyatt, how much pain's Wyatt in, Dave? The death roll, now this. But Sterling speared into a ladder there in the corner, Chris. Looks like. Man. And look, it doesn't even matter. Like, he's, he's trying to see if the wrestlers have, can keep their arm up, which Sterling did, but what's the matter? Maybe you, they should stop the match and just give Wyatt no, the title. Sterling's no. hurt too bad. Until I see major organs popping out, this isn't going to be stopped. I think that would be a terrible end to the show, Chris, and probably the last broadcast we ever did here on Metro Well, Sport. at least we go with the bang, Dave. No doubt about that, and the I mean, crowd really cheering on Jeremy Wyatt here. How many federations say our last show we saw a pancreas? You know? Probably not a lot. Exactly. Like outside of Mexico, of course. Exactly. Well, it's cheaper down there. You have that kind of surgery done. I've heard. And look at Wyatt putting the ladder in the corner, and Sterling is down, just holding his abdomen, Dave. Doesn't look like it's going to end well for one of these two guys, Chris. Right now, it looks like Mark Sterling may be about to take a terrible move, but now a reversal. And look at this, picking him up like a missile. Oh! <laughs> Dropping him on top there, and Wyatt is seeing stars. It's like those old Looney Tunes cartoons, Chris, except a lot less funny. No, it's funny to me, as long as Wyatt's getting it. Hey, look at that, a big spear. And we've talked about that. That's a, one of the several finishing maneuvers by Mark Sterling. The spear takes out most people, and Jeremy Wyatt writhing in pain. Sterling looks like out of habit, maybe going for a cover. No, he's going to headbutt and roll Wyatt outside of the ring. Looks like a, that looks like a huge muscled up bull, Dave, just pushing off his big cow off the pasture as he tries to go back for some more food. Strange analogy, Chris, but I'll go with it this time. It works. Mark's, oh, I've been on farms. That's what happens. Well, you live in Belton. Of course you've been on farms. Do you think that's an insult to me, Dave? No, it's just it's a not. statement of fact, Chris. You think I'd rather be from Kansas City, Kansas? How yeah, much worse in life I'd be? I'm not arguing. I don't want to live in Kansas, Chris. You're right. Just Kansas itself is horrible. Thank you. But uh, here we go. Sterling, I digress, Dave. Sterling putting up the ladder as Wyatt is outside in pain. And this is it. I think this is the chance for Sterling. Climb up there and retain his Metro Pro Championship in this best of three series, taking it two to one as he is about to win this ladder match, the first ever here on Metro Pro. Sterling slowly making his way up. And Almost has a reach, but look at Wyatt here, scaling the rope. No! Oh, oh, what a move by Sterling. A spear on Wyatt as he jumped towards Sterling. And what was Wyatt thinking? If he should have gone over there and pushed over the ladder. But no, he gets speared in midair by Mark Sterling. Don't know if I've ever seen that move in my life. Unbelievable. And look at these two, Dave. How much pain are these two in? I mean, this best of three series has taken years off both of their lives. Sterling again. Is he going to try to scale the ladder, or is he going to try to inflict some more damage here? Hopefully he just scales the ladder, Dave. I don't like seeing pain on most people, not Sterling anyway, so he should just climb up, get the belt. Come on, buddy. I think you probably made an incorrect statement, Chris. I think you like seeing pain on most people, just not Mark Sterling or SBC or possibly the commission. Yeah, right, definitely not the commission. I don't want those beautiful teeth ruined. Here we go as he's, look at that, putting all that weight and pressure on the back of Wyatt's neck. <laughs> Jeremy Wyatt didn't have neck problems before. He probably does now. 
Well, it's a couple brain cells there, Dave, and I don't think you had many to spare. What? No, that's what I heard. Mark Sterling now. Here we go. This is how he was going to get set up for Medea. One foot on each ladder. But uh, Sterling doesn't need it. But look, he's climbing up both. And he is, look, just doubling his success to get up there and get that. Oh, come on. It's a little too far. Oh! oh. Now Sterling's got a ball oh. leg, but misses it there. Misses the chair shot, but no, big kick to the midsection and reversal by Wyatt. What is this inverted brain buster? What a match. The Turner Recreation Commission is a full-service recreation facility located in Kansas City, Kansas. Program offerings include youth and adult sports, boxing, karate, dance, tumbling, cheerleading, fine arts, child care, youth and adult fitness classes, 50-plus program, a fitness center, year-round aquatic programs, birthday parties, rentals, and much, much more. For more information about TRC and their programs, please visit their website at turnerrec.org. Metro Pro Wrestling is brought to you in part by Pizza Shuttle, the best pizza place in Lawrence, Kansas since it opened its doors in 1984. Open seven days a week until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. on the weekend. Order online at pizza-shuttle.com or give them a call at 785-842-1212. Pizza Shuttle, a proud sponsor of Metro Pro Wrestling. A huge move there by Jeremy Wyatt, but both these guys here in a lot of pain, Chris. We talked about the kind of damage, lasting damage this match could have in their careers. We're already seeing it taking its toll here tonight. Oh, no. Like I said, it's taken years up both their lives. That inverted brain buster to stop Mark Sterling from climbing that ladder and becoming, and I guess, retaining his Metro Pro Heavyweight Championship. Uh, another devastating move, but here goes Wyatt outside again, and Dave... How many metal chairs are under this ring? Never enough, Chris. We've seen, I don't know how many under, we saw so many in the no disqualification match, and now we've had a couple already in here in this ladder match. I'm just glad there's no thumbtacks here tonight, Chris. At least as best I know. Well, I, I didn't see Pete Madden in the back with any, so I think they may be safe. Look at that, more powder. We know Wyatt likes to use that on people, cheater. Now the three chairs of the ring, Chris. Four, actually, the one by Mark Sterling, who's down and out at the moment. Jeremy White swinging that chair earlier, missing on the ladder, but he got the best of Sterling after that, that brain buster. But look now, White oh. going after that lower back of Sterling and going after that left arm as well. Got him right in the spine, Chris. And what is Jeremy White setting up for now? He brought four chairs. I can't imagine he'd use them all for one move, but. Let's see what he has in mind. He's going for more right now. Some of the matches that Wyatt and Sterling have had up at 3XW in Des Moines, Iowa have been amazing as well. I mean, many chairs, many ladders used up there. And Dave, if, if I, think, I, I think I know where this is going, setting up all these chairs, and this could be the devastating maneuver that's going to end this thing and allow somebody to go to the top of that ladder and get that championship. I don't know what Jeremy White has in mind, but I'd have to agree if anyone could hit a move on all four chairs, that would have to end the match. Four metal chairs sitting together as Jeremy White has situated them exactly the way he wanted them. Now what's he gonna do, Dave? Sterling just sitting in the ring right there. Four times the potential pain, Chris. Folding up a ladder now. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Not going to be a soft landing for one of these guys. Dave, this is not good. Headbutt central there on Sterling by Wyatt, but what is going to happen? Four chairs set up with a ladder on top. These guys are trying to kill each other. I want Wyatt to win, but I don't even want to see Sterling take this blow. Look at this big elbows as Wyatt is softening him up as he's getting him ready to, I guess, just take out his whole body going through those chairs in the ladder, Dave, off the top rope. What's he going to, maybe a superplex? Oh my God. No! 
Look at this. Oh, oh, cheap shot by Sterling. No rules, Dave. Look, he's got him up there in the fireman's carry. What's he going to do? No, Don't do it. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Have you seen anything like that before? I've never seen that. It could end the career of both these guys, Chris. Look at Wyatt. I think he's dead. Are the EMTs in here? Well, thanks, Sterling. Look, the it's better off, Chris. The Metro Pro Champ rings out from the sellout crowd here at Turner Rec Center. Well, this is what Mark Sterling should do now. He's done that move. Now he needs to walk up to the top of that ladder and grab the belt and become champion and get out of here before something else like this happens. Dave. It looks like he's about to make that climb, Chris. This looks like I mean, it doesn't, Dave, but he's the one that put him through those chairs. You would think he's the one that's going to get up first. Well, he sacrificed his body, too, you can tell. These look like two cars have collided on a highway here in Kansas City. In the middle of this ring, just metal everywhere. Don't even know if you could assemble the ladder to get to the belt based on where Jeremy Wyatt's set up in the ring, Chris. He's right underneath that belt, isn't he? You're right, he needs to move that ladder a little bit closer to that corner over there, but Jeremy Wyatt not, has not moved. And Mark Sterling getting him slowly as well. Sterling clutching his ribs, you'd have to think. These guys certainly have some broken bones at this point. It's just amazing that this series of matches have been some of the best we've ever had in Metro Pro Wrestling, and it continues to get bigger and better with each of these devastating maneuvers that these two pull off. I mean, jumping off the top rope, through the ladder and chairs by Sterling, what else is it gonna take? Sterling now slowly making his way to his feet, but you can tell he's nowhere near 100% at this point. No, just draping himself on that ladder now is Again, Wyatt has not moved, finally moving his left arm there, but this crowd, I don't think any of them have seen anything as devastating as what just went down here. And look, Wyatt holding on to that, that right leg of Sterling. Stop it now. To Jeremy Wyatt's left arm is the champ. I can't believe he's still conscious enough to understand and try to stop him from walking up the ladder. This could be Ed Sterling slowly making his way up that ladder. Davey's got it. I mean, how could he not get it at this point? Wyatt can't even stand up, it looks like. But he's using the ropes to try to pull himself up, Chris. Come on, he's got his hand on it. Come on! I don't know why it gets him away. Again, Wyatt, and look at that. <laughs> A modified DDT as he just plants him there in the corner and both these men down there. And I can't believe either of them are up and walking and doing maneuvers like that after what they went through so far. Took all of Jeremy Wyatt's energy just to get Sterling off the ladder and put him down, but you can't even contemplate climbing the ladder at this point. Just an amazing sight to see two of the best wrestlers in the Midwest today and have been for years now, putting their bodies on the line for this crowd in Turner Rec in the first ever, and maybe the last ladder match we'll ever have in I Metro hope it Pro. is, Chris. This has been awful to watch. Damage these guys are inflicting on each other. Jeremy White has put his body through a lot over the years, Dave. You see his nipples been torn up. That was in a that was in a barbed wire match that he had several years ago against Michael Strider, and now this. I mean, his body looks like a it looks like a, a quilt, just a patchwork of things. Sterling back up to his feet. Look out, Wyatt! No. You ever torn your nipple on a barbed wire before, Dave? No, not on a barbed wire, Chris. Here we go. Hate to ask what it was. Up and over, and look, on that top rope still, Dave. Off the ropes, here we go. Oh, look at this. He caught Sterling. Dave, we've seen this before, apron pile drive. Oh, this is a no. huge move if he hits it. Oh, oh, yes. All the weight coming down on Sterling's neck and head right there on that metal of that ring. I mean, there's nothing holding on the top of that metal except just a little canvas and some, a little bit of foam, Dave. I mean, there's nothing to take all that weight that he had. If Wyatt could get up, Chris, he's got this match won. We've well, seen that move incapacitate people for hours, practically. Well, we've seen Michael Strider be out for days after that, Dave. I mean, he'd really jacked up his neck. And here's Sterling trying to win match three of this ladder match. Who would have known that an apron pile driver would have been using a ladder match? But Look, and Wyatt's no, no better off, Dave. I, I mean, think if he can get in the ring, Chris, he'll have the title. Can he even get in the ring, Dave? It's like watching Apollo Creed at the end of Rocky II. 
There, finally, rolling back in. But like this, like I said, there's no count outs, no submission, no pinfall. It's purely the only way to win is to climb that ladder and get that, that belt. And I don't even know if Wyatt can do it. Crowd urging on Jeremy Wyatt. He's certainly close right now to claiming that title again. The referee, Michael Crace, watching as, as Wyatt is maneuvering that ladder as he like a, like a little worm on the ground there, Dave. Can't even get up. Don't want to be technical, Chris, but his real name's referee Wilkos. It's a good point, Dave. Touché. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Mark Sterling hasn't even moved, Chris. I do think Wyatt's got the title here. Nobody could get up from that apron pile driver. Sterling is still down as Wyatt maneuvering that in the middle of the ring to get that belt. And where is Sterling? He better get up if he thinks he's going to have any chance to retain. Uh, Wyatt's had some trouble gauging where he's at in the ring. He's been knocked silly, Chris. He's in the right spot now. Can he get it? Look at him climbing up, Dave. And Sterling finally coming to. But will it be quick enough to get this, get this done? Look, he's, he's putting his hand on it. We saw Sterling try to grab it before, and he touched it. But White is getting close on latching it, Dave. Come on, get it, champ. No! Here we go. Here comes Sterling pushing that ladder off. Oh, low blow, Dave. Oh, but White landed on his feet. What an evasive move. Low blow, and look, what's he saying, pile driver? Oh, no, you can't hold Sterling up. And look at this, yes, reversal, Dave. It's a, it's a tombstone, Tombstone. Oh, he hit it. Oh, look at that, Dave, he just spiked his head on the ring. That could be devastating as well. Goes from an apron pile driver to a tombstone. Right when I thought Wyatt had it won, Sterling with an ultimate reversal here but he can't get up to go claim the title belt. How can either of these guys get up? I mean, how many moves have they each taken that would keep down everybody in the back? Sterling, how is he even moving after that apron pile drop? I mean, right now, Dave, it's purely on adrenaline. Sitting up, and Wyatt's still barely moving here on his back. Look at the metal chair graveyard everywhere in this ring. There's chairs everywhere. Sterling didn't want to go for the belt, Chris. Why would he do that? He wants that? to hurt his former friend as if stabbing him in the back wasn't enough. How'd he stab him in the back, Dave? He had I do I have to say this. He tried to spear him, Chris. He had a couple accidental spear attempts. Accidental? Wyatt made it clear they weren't friends anymore and that he wanted the title belt back. At some point, Mark Sterling had to go on the offensive. But Mark Sterling, now he's, he's putting up all these chairs again. How can they even stand up? They're bent to heck. Sterling now stacking him up. Like a chair graveyard here in the center of the ring, but what's he gonna do with it? I've already used that, 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 that symbolism, Dave. Well, I'm not very creative, Chris. It's true. Okay, how about a pile of chairs in the center of the ring, Chris? Yes, yeah, even more creative. Oh, here we go. He's gonna throw him on top, no. Stopping short, ducks the clothesline. Oh, 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 another big spear, Dave. And he came within about an inch of nailing his head on that ladder. Thank goodness he didn't hit it, Chris. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure, Dave, sure. He's, he's out, Dave. Wyatt is done, okay? He looked like a gimp walking into this match, and now it's, it's over. Here's the disaster piece, maybe? No. Look at this. Oh, another finishing maneuver. No one is safe, Dave. He is the fittest wrestler in the world. He is the reigning Metro Pro Champion, and he's about to take out his best friend in the best of three series. Can't really argue that right now Mark Sterling looks like he's in control. I'm going to kill him! Yes! Don't you like it when people say that, Dave? That, they mean business. It's actually horrible and depressing, Chris. What's he doing? He's putting, he's putting the ladder on the edge of the, the apron there. He's not going to be able to get to the title belt without that ladder, Dave, so I don't exactly know what Sterling's doing well, at this point. He clearly didn't want to win the match, Chris. He just said he wanted to kill Jeremy Wyatt. Well, priorities are priorities, Dave. I guess the title belt has now come second to actually maiming and taking out his friend. Oh, yeah. When Wyatt did that earlier, you said it was the dumbest strategy ever. Now you love it. Thank you, Chris. Oh, no, come on. Enough's enough. We've had ladders. We've had chairs. Now it's time for the T and the TLC. Didn't think we could see any more damage done, Chris, but I think we're about to see it. The eight-foot wooden table has now been thrown into the ring, Dave. 
and this is going to be crazy. What is going to happen? I guess this is the final nail in the soon-to-be coffin of Jeremy Wyatt as he lays motionless. Mark Sterling's going to set this up, put him through, maybe set it on fire at that point. Who knows? What? And then get that title belt. Crowd chanting for TLC here, Chris, but I don't think they're talking about the semi-popular cable network. Oh, yeah, that's great. John and Kate and all the other classics they have on there. That crap. Lots of pain here tonight. That's what TLC is all about here at Turner Rec Center. We have, we have real athletes and great drama on this show, Dave. We don't have some girl that has 20 kids, okay? That's not really a feat. You call it the guys from the commission great athletes, Chris? We have some great athletes here, Dave. We have some great athletes in the ring right now. There's no doubt about it. And Sterling stopping the life out of Jeremy Wyatt. Here we go. What's he going to do? He's going to set him up, pick him up like a sack of garbage that he is, put him on top of that table, and end it all. Sterling set up one of the ladders here. Dave, the, the Mayans were wrong. The world did not end December 21st, if you if you can believe that. But, I do. But I think the world of Jeremy White is about to end here in just a, in a few seconds, as, as Mark Sterling has told him what he's going to do to him. Angriest man on the face of the earth, as far as I know. Mark Sterling here setting up his former best friend, Jeremy Wyatt. Trying to end his career, if not worse, Chris. Is it anger or focus, Dave? I mean, he's just, you know, he's just very determined. Well, he always tells everyone he hates their guts, and now he said he's going to kill his former best friend, Chris. I'm going to go, go with anger. How's your ankle feel there, Yimpy? Shut up, Chris. Let's get Sterling up on that ladder and end this one. He's going to go the outside, Dave, but jump off the top of this six-foot ladder. End it all. It's crazy, Chris. What's he thinking here? He wants to end him, Dave. It's here. Here we go. He's slowly climbing to the top, Dave. I don't know how long Wyatt's going to be, uh, be waiting for him there. Come on, champ. Let's go. Got to have some human decency at some point, right, Chris? No. It's pro wrestling, no. Oh, look at Wyatt, he was playing possum there. And Wyatt, what's he gonna do, Dave? He's climbing the left, oh, draping that left arm over there, stunning the champ and hooking that arm, and Dave, no! No! Yes! Oh. A superplex off the top! Through the table, Dave! Do you see those bolts spit out like bullets? Oh my goodness! What haven't we seen in this match? Look at this! Fisherman suplex! We know it's his finishing sequence there for Jeremy White, not usually through a table, but that's what he normally does, superplex into the Fisherman's, and, and now, if he just gets the ladder, Dave, it's gonna be done for the champion! I think you're right, Chris, and White's tried to do that as we speak. And Mark Sterling, I, I, I don't think he's moved. I think we should have paramedics ready. Well, we can only hope, Chris. Look at Sterling, Dave. He's a heap over there. He, has, he definitely has not moved since he just got superplexed through that table and then fisherman suplexed after that. And Jeremy Wyatt, Dave, just now within maybe seconds of regaining his Metro Pro Championship from his former best friend. A deserving champ may be about to reclaim that gold, Chris. No! Sterling still lying motionless here in the center of the ring as Where's, Wyatt makes his way up. Where's SBC? Someone get out here and help him. Wyatt's so close and Sterling's still not moving, Chris. Someone pull the rope up. No. This, this has got to be it. Jeremy Wyatt's got his, he's very, as close as anyone's gotten to yet, Dave. He's up there. No. Yes. Yes, Jeremy Wyatt has reclaimed the title. What a series of three matches and devastating effects from this ladder match of both these competitors, but Jeremy Wyatt has reclaimed the title, Chris. Jeremy Wyatt, I have to give it to him, Dave. He, he defeated a great champion, the longest reigning champion, Mark Sterling, his former friend, and now he, the, the only double champion here ever in Metro Pro Wrestling. Jeremy Wyatt is now a two-time Metro Pro Heavyweight Champion after defeating Mark Sterling in a no disqualification match with the crossface and now the ladder match in this best of three series. Unbelievable, and Jeremy Wyatt will never know if he would have kept that title and he's not broken his leg, but he certainly climbed all the way back to the top of the mountain now and look at the celebration. And Dave, look at his body, has been through a war, has welts all over his back. 
blood. It's amazing what these guys put themselves through, going through the chairs and the ladder, going through the table. Just amazing what these three have done in these series of three matches in front of all these fans at Turner Rec Center. And even though I wanted my man Mark Sterling to retain his championship, you have to give it to Jeremy Wyatt, who is obviously a guy that doesn't feel pain. He's our Mick Foley, Dave. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't know when he's hurt. And he's a menace to society because he could be a real problem for anybody else. Never thought I'd say these words, Chris, but I'm actually concerned about Mark Sterling right now. Hasn't moved a muscle since Wyatt hit him with that finishing sequence, including a superplex through a wooden table. Well, I would think so, Dave. I mean, I told you, you should have the paramedics here ready, and the referee's obviously checking him out. But Jeremy Wyatt, even though he is the champion here, and here's, here's Michael Strider is coming to the ring. He's one of the agents here at Metro Pro Wrestling. He's come out here, and he's now checking on Mark Sterling, one of his longtime friends as well. He looked like he was uh, pretty concerned. Not to take away the championship win here by Jeremy White. But the deserving know. champ, wouldn't you say, Chris? I think he's proven it. I mean, look, Mark Sterling dished out all he could to try to win this title back. And obviously it didn't work. Jeremy White, like I said, look, just ravaged with everything going on in this match. But again, Mark Sterling is out, and we have multiple people checking on him now. And hopefully he is okay and ready to go and the rest of 2013, but Jeremy White, your new two-time Metro Pro Heavyweight Champion, Mark Sterling losing it as the longest reigning Metro Champion of all time. Wyatt, reign is resumed, Chris. Congratulations, Jeremy Wyatt. We'll see what's in store for him through 2013. This has been a production of Metro Sports and Time Warner Cable, Kansas City.